Hello and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm going to be doing a quick little cooking video for one of my longtime subscribers as well as a fellow Fallout community member. He's been trying to get this recipe onto the Gamers and Geeks playlist for quite a while and has experienced quite a bit of technical difficulties with it. And when he came to me and asked me if I would do it for him, I said I would be more than happy to do it. So that's what we're going to do. Today we are going to be making Dagonite's Quick and Easy Bachelor Ramen. So the ingredients that we're going to be using today are pretty much just leftover vegetables that I've had from different recipes that I've cooked. And I just, when I have extras, I chop them up and I freeze them. And today I'm going to be working with two tablespoons of celery, two tablespoons of red bell pepper, two tablespoons of a poblano pepper, two tablespoons of leek, as well as one tablespoon of a jalapeno. I have two tablespoons of packaged frozen corn, as well as some leftover tomato paste, some butter, one egg, a handful of cheese. Today I'm going to be using the beef flavored Better Than Bouillon, but they also have a chicken or a vegetable base that would work just as well. And I'm also using one package of ramen noodles. So to get all of these ingredients together, we need to move over to my stove and get started. Alright guys, so now that we are over at my stove, you can see I've already got one pot of water boiling and this one is still cold, so I'm going to go ahead and turn it on and dump in all of my vegetables except for the corn. The corn is already cooked, but these vegetables are still raw and need to start cooking down a little bit. I'm going to turn my heat up on high to get that started. And for the water in the back, what I'm going to do is make a six minute egg. And the way I do my eggs is I get my water up to a boiling and I puncture a hole in the bottom of my egg. This allows like air to escape and kind of helps lift that membrane away from the inside of the egg, which makes it a little bit easier to peel in the end. And when I do a six minute egg, I actually set my timer first. And before I hit start, I drop my egg in and then hit the start. And we're just going to let that go for six minutes before we put it into cold water at the end of the six minutes. So for right now, all I can do is wait for this to come up to a boil before we add our noodles. All right, guys, our water in vegetables are boiling. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is just drop in the noodle packet and we're going to let that cook for three minutes or so and about the last minute of the noodle cooking time I'm going to throw my corn in just so that it starts to warm up. As you can see our egg is not quite done so this so far has been less than six minutes to get to this point. Alright there we go our egg is done I'm going to go ahead and turn that off and I'm going to immediately remove it from the water and put it right in here to start to stop the cooking time. I'm going to go ahead and turn that down so it doesn't boil over. So while these are cooking, I'm going to go ahead and add my butter into my bowl here as well as my cheese. We're just going to dump that right in. And we're just getting this bowl ready for when the noodles are done. So these still have about a minute to go. I'm going to go ahead and add my corn in just so that that will heat through. Alright, our noodles are done and I'm going to go ahead and turn them off. Now what I'm going to do now, I'm going to do this a little bit different than the way Dagonite explained it. I'm going to move this over and I'm just going to pour my broth over in there because I don't want all of the broth but I still want some of it. So now that we've separated our vegetables from our noodles I'm going to dump it all straight onto the cheese and the butter 
Make sure we get it all out of our strainer. And then you said just mix it really, really well. Make sure all the cheese and butter get incorporated and melted. All right, that looks pretty good for right now. I'm going to go ahead and move this pan back up. And I'm just going to put that back on. I'm going to add just a little bit of broth. I don't want too much. He said he poured off the most of his broth. I'm going to go ahead and add in oh, about a tablespoon of the tomato paste. We're going to allow that to cook down. And I'm going to also add in probably about three-fourths of a teaspoon of our bouillon. And now we're just going to cook this until it's all melted. Maybe add a tad bit more of our broth. I'm also going to go ahead and add in at this point whoop, some black pepper. Not a lot, just a little. These are all, the seasonings are all to your taste, however much or as little as you want. As well as all the vegetables. If you don't want the tomato paste in it, leave it out. I just happened to have some and he mentioned it in his recipe. So I went ahead and threw it in. I'm also going to add in just a little pinch of red pepper flakes. I don't want a whole bunch. I don't want this super spicy. I do already have the jalapeno in there. I just want to make sure my tomato paste has cooked a little bit to help kind of take that raw can taste out of it. If you have tomato paste in a tube, it would probably work a little bit better. And I think that is going to do it. So let's go ahead and get this turned off. And I will move you over to, the or to my other counter and we will get this dish assembled. Alright guys, I've gone ahead and gotten our ramen all together. And I'm going to say it looks really good. It smells really good. I really like the addition of the tomato paste into the broth. It's actually really good. I've already gone ahead and tasted it. This dish does not need any extra salt because of the beef bouillon. It's extremely cheesy. Our egg is perfectly cooked. It's still nice and runny on the inside. But the white is totally cooked. So let's go in here, give it a nice little bite, and see what we think about the whole thing. Mmm. This is really good. If I was craving a ramen dish, I think this would be my new go-to. It came together super quick, less than 10 minutes to get the whole thing together. And it's definitely a meal that will stay with you for quite a while. Definitely going to be one of those stick-to-your-ribs kind of comfort dishes. Bag of night, I hope I didn't change your recipe up too much and this is kind of what you were looking for. I want to thank you very much for asking me to do this for you. I've had a lot of fun doing it and kind of putting my own little personal spin on it. If you guys would like to tell Dagonite what you think of, his, of this recipe, why don't you go over and check out his channel. I will leave a link down in the description to it. Remember to check out the Gamers and Geeks playlist where you will find this recipe as well as many others done by you guys. If you guys like this video and would like to see more recipes like this, leave me a comment down below. But for now, thank you so very much for joining me today. I've been Vault Girl. I hope you guys have enjoyed and I hope I see you in the next one.